What's up, all my nerd friends out there? This is Mr. Chill here. And let's talk about Dragon Ball Super Chapter 103. And obviously, everyone knows by now, this is the last chapter that he probably worked on, most likely, uh, that helped on Akira Toriyama's. Uh, very sad news. Heart breaks my heart when I first heard about it, I think last week, I believe. Um, just still, it's unbelievable. He, he passed away. You know, he's sad, sad that he died. Definitely this guy, big part, big part of my life right now. He played a big part of my life with his stories, animation, with his, the Dragon Ball franchise, played a big part of my life. I would not have got into animation or manga. I think a lot of people, it was for the Dragon Ball franchise. And not just that, just all the lessons I learned from watching that. You know, one of my favorite character of all time is um, Vegeta. That is my favorite anime character, my favorite manga character, my favorite character history in any, not just like in comic books or anything, is that. Like people was, oh, I looked up to Superman. I looked up to some movie stars. I looked up to some uh, actors or anyone. People, like when they're growing up, they looked up to him. I looked up to Vegeta. Vegeta was the guy I kept on pushing myself. I want to be strong like him. I want to have a, my pride. I want to be tough like him, never give up and everything. That was the guy I looked up to, Vegeta. <laughs> and it's crazy to you look at him, the Vegeta character is such a uh, great developed character, you know? So that's why I inspire so much from him, you know, all the working hard to surpassing Goku. That's his goal is get stronger and stronger, stronger, work out his goal. And at the same time, he's developing his self to his inner self. Like, look at the person he is now. Like, I, 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 before I carried around my death, I was watching Dragon Ball Z because... I love the series. It's one of my favorite anime shows of all time. It still is to this day. Trust me, there's tons of better story development, like stories and everything. Juice Kaisen, One Piece. That would not imagine it wasn't for the Dragon Ball franchise. These anime probably won't be here now. They, sto they only got this that story idea, that structure. No, it wasn't for Akira Toriyama. So they got, that's why the, so many people uh, mourn the death of Akira Toriyama. All these manga creators as well. It's because they looked up to Akira, that like he was the, the godfather of these manga community in my book, and the shonen jump stories. Uh, sorry I haven't got, got into the chapter, because this last chapter, 103 of Dragon Ball Super, it was a good chapter, too exciting. Uh, let's get into that before I go into more Akira Toriyama stuff. <laughs> it's sad. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. But his work right here was awesome. We, they, they gave us the fight between Ultra Instinct Goku and Alt, um, Beast Mode Gohan. And it looked like it went back and forth. No one got the answer who's stronger. It showed Ultra Instinct was like superior to Beast Mode for a second until Gohan, you know what? I'm up my game as well. So he went beyond Beast Mode. He went super fast. He was able to land on Punch on Ultra, on Ultra Instinct Goku. Um, that you no know, Ultra Instinct Mode, he could duck without even thinking he could dodge his body's basically instinct mode boom 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 and gohan was able to land a punch with his beast mode super fast super speed it was just that was a cool fight i can't wait for that get animation one day and all this will get animated one day trust me all this dragon ball super is gonna get anime i can't wait till it comes back one day and it was just a fun chapter of them sparring training go brawly was just like oh my god this is awesome because it's and Goku was right. He looked at Broly when he was, he was, Broly was watching him fight Gohan and Goku. And Goku saw him, mm hmm, that's a good idea. Cause Gohan is kind of like the, the version that Broly wants to be. Cause you think of Broly, like he, he gets angry when he gets more powerful he gets, but the more unstable he becomes. And that's Gohan. Remember every time he got angry, he became unstable to use that power. Like we can, when he became more stronger and angry, he was not able to control that. So Brawly, while looking at Gohan's fight, he's learning, hey, if Gohan could control this power and be angry, like he's he's charging and being more powerful and being in this angry mode as well, he he could do it too. Bra that's why I think um in the future Gohan and Brawly probably be training a lot together and Brawly's gonna learn how to control his power. If he could learn to control that power, that that all that energy, he could become a beast, man. You know, like he, um, it's just in Super Saiyan, he's basically like a Super Saiyan 3 right there, or, um, even more stronger. They probably could control that power, all that anger, all that. He'd become believe, unbelievable strong. That's why it's so cool. In this chapter, this shows all the Saiyans fighting with each other. Vegeta wanted to fight Beast Mode, Gohan too. Everyone was just throwing down and sparring with each other. It was just a fun family chapter, and it was cool. 
And after all that was over, they all went back home. It was kind of like a sad way, sad ending in a way. It was just silent in a way. But let's, let's get to this. <laughs> I don't know who's making Goku so stupid. <laughs> uh, I, I've been watching Dragon Ball Z. He's a pretty smart character in Dragon Ball Z, but in Super Saga, he's very stupid, Goku. <laughs> Because what got me right here, it's got to suck that when he got, when Goku, everyone went back home, everyone went back to Earth, uh, they all leave, left Reese's planet, Goku, Gohan, um, Goten, Trunks, and, and Vegeta, they all went back, they saw uh, Piccolo, um, and Goku's at, asked, hey, Piccolo, you want to spar very quick? Because you know he has that new form too, that orange form, Piccolo orange, whatever. And uh, Piccolo, nah, I got to go pick up Pan, and Goku was like, who's Pan why you gotta pick a panic? Everyone would just look at dude, that's your granddaughter. <laughs> Even Vegeta knocked you idiot. That's your granddaughter. How do you not know your own granddaughter's name? And he's like, oh shit. Like he forgot her his own granddaughter. That was like, oh my god, how stupid you can be. And Piccolo was pissed. I was like, you know what? For that, you come with me, go pick up pants. Go. We go, we're all gonna go. So it was pretty cool. Gohan and Goku and Piccolo went to go pick up him. But still, <laughs> Goku forget his own granddaughter's name. Oh my god, that's I don't know if they're making him that stupid or he's really that's been that stupid. Like, dude, but he looks like Pan saw Goku when Pan saw Goku, he kind of uh, sparred a little bit. It was cute. And uh, he saw a grandpa. It's kind of cool. Is she saw it's like two grandpas, Piccolo and Goku. Just it shows that Piccolo is more kind of like a more a father figure to Gohan and a grandfather, a better grandfather. You think about it to Pan because how much he's been around them more often. He's, he's been a big part of Gohan's life and a big part of Pan's life more than Goku has. <laughs> so uh, yeah i think piccolo is more a, a father and a grandfather at, for this point on <laughs> but we'll see in the future but it was it, the last chap the last uh page of this chapter was just all silent it was just immediate with pan it was nice and he said um there was words in the bottom that the passing of kira toriyama we're sorry if we hear the passing this is his work this was his dream he's been working on dragon ball franchise for a long time i've been enjoying it like i said i'm a big dragon ball fan i have shirts of them I grew up watching his work, reading his work, just amazing. Kira Tarama, thank you for everything you did. It's amazing work, creating this amazing character that will live on past all our lives. Anyone that watches your work now is going to live past us. That's how I see his work. His, like like Spider-Man, like Superman, like Batman. Um, Dragon, you can put Dragon Ball Z in that category. All the characters, Vegeta, Goku, Piccolo, they're going to live past us. They're going to live past on me, on you, everyone. Because our kids, 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 our grandkids, everyone's going to know who Dragon Ball Z is. His work is going to live on forever. That's amazing. That's, that's what every writer, every creator wants to do. Is have, when he pass on, their work, their memories will live on forever. And that's what Kira Toriyama did. Like, people will be inspired. There's artists that have been inspired by him, that want to draw like him. There's people that want to work like him, tell stories like him. There's so many inspirations out there. Hell, uh, if you watch Apollo Creed, the fight in that movie, yeah, the fight movie was inspired by Kira Toriyama's when Goku and Vegeta were fighting each other. That was inspired by it. There's football players, athletes now, rappers that wear jewels and um, wear clothes representing Dragon Ball Z, um, singing songs about him. And like so many of his work, he inspires so many artists, never giving up because that's what, he inspired in his work, if you would notice, in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, and all his work was never giving up, never backing down. Keep on proving yourself. Keep on training hard. Keep reaching your goals. He inspired all that before Naruto, before One Piece, before all that stuff. He inspired all that. And he inspired, like, not just that, too. Like, like I said, you could put so much of his work into real life. Like, you don't need to be the same blood, have the same blood to be, like, family. Like Piccolo, Piccolo has always been a great character to develop my book because we see like he's trained Gohan. He was a the evil dude that protected his rival son and then became a father figure to him. He, he's a different race. He's totally different. He's a, a Manekian. He's not even close to being human, but he sees Gohan's a son. He'll be there in a heartbeat, protect him, don't even have the same blood. And Gohan loves him like a father. And that's so beautiful. And that's so awesome. And Vegeta, my favorite character, that was an evil piece of shit character. But later on, you see such growth. That's why I love Dragon Ball Super. People always put down what Vegeta looks like. He's not this hardcore character because he changed. He needs care of him. He's a caring father now. He, he accepts Goku will always be stronger than him probably. But he never gives up. He will still train hard. He will still put everything in it. He will still fight. He's taking um, like, uh, 
uh, like I said, apprentices with, uh, I forgot, Cabby, Cabot, Cabot, whatever, that uh, other scene from the other universe, from Earth, Earth 2 universe, whatever. Um, Brewers' brother's universe. That, um, that little scene, he took, uh, he takes care of his son, Trunks. I remember he stood by Bulma's side while she got pregnant, uh, when she was pregnant with Brawl. So that was awesome. And, um, he took his son to a theme park. He tried to, uh, um, Dragon Ball Super, the movie, the first one with Breers. He was trying to make sure Breers, he was the only one who knew Breers was a god of destruction. Make sure he was happy. So he'd protect his family. He snapped that Breers. I just saw that scene too. That he snapped that Breers for, uh, snapping his wife, protecting his woman. The old Vegeta would never done that, but he changed so much. I love the development change of Vegeta. I love it. He's getting stronger, the new transformation. Vegeta has always been my favorite character. He took everything serious. He, um, take care. He looked at himself pride. He was prideful. He loved himself. He worked harder to prove himself. He didn't like where he was. He was going to make sure he got to that point and reach his goal. Train hard every day. Didn't take no for the answer. Didn't back down for any fight. Vegeta was just an amazing character. And I always look up to Vegeta. He's my favorite character all the time. And thank you, Akira Tom, for, um, for creating him. Thank you for putting all your uh, work and mind into your um, stories. Put all your soul into it. I can feel it. These are all your ideas, your inspirations, everything. Goku is such an amazing character. He's going to be living on forever. So many states, not just Japan, Mexico, probably Canada, U.S. definitely. Everyone around the world and loving this work. Like, you go anywhere. You go anywhere. Merchandise. Dragon Ball Z stuff. Everyone knows Dragon Ball Z by now. Everyone knows his work. And that's, that's what you're creating a legacy is, man. He's one of those legends out there now. He's a legend. He's in the heavens now. Thank you, Kira Trauma, for everything you've done for us. Appreciate it. Can't wait for more. See your work live on. Remember, we got the Dragon Ball C series, Daima. I, I was looking for it. People were making fun of that, like, oh, his baby stuff. But he's a, a guy with a great imagination. Like, he, he loves making funny stuff. He loves making action stuff. Like, he, I love his personality because he, like, it, it's a mix of everything. It's not just sad or depressing stuff or it's everything. It has drama, action, fighting, comedy, everything. When it gets serious, it gets serious. When it gets funny, it gets funny in this work. When it gets action, it's action. So uh, that's why I love the Dragon Ball Z. It's not just one drama. It's everything. When it gets deep, it will get deep. And when it gets sad, it gets sad. When it gets everything like that. That's his work. And I love it. I can't wait for the Dama series. Uh, Dama. Dragon Ball Dama, I think that's what's called. Forgive me if I mispronounce it wrong, but I can't wait for it. See that? That's going to be uh, awesome. Uh, I can't wait for more work in the future. Um, he left his passing. I forgot who the uh, creator is, but it's on highest right now. There won't be no Dragon Ball Super next month in April. They said that uh, I've been looking up a little bit. It might come back on May, um, next May 21st, 20th. So they, I think they only take a month break. So that's cool because I think, like I said, he had a partner in this work in Dragon Ball Super. He's going to take over the series. Part work side by side, they share ideas, and I think they're gonna work great. He's gonna take over the mantle, and I hope he does great. I do hope he creates some great ideas. Learned a lot for Akira Toriyama because he created a lot of great work out there, and I can't wait for the future of more Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball, hope it lives on forever, and I can't wait for the anime to come back, can't wait for more movies, can we see more character development? Can't wait for all this. Um, but I feel like Dragon Ball Super might be the last uh story, like the big story. Once it ends, it ends, and we're not gonna get no more. Uh, his work will be ending. He wanted to take a break too, Kira Tom. I heard like he wanted to take a break from like done, like I'm done with the Dragon Ball Z series, Dragon Ball Z. But obviously, you want more work. There's GT, there's uh, Dragon Ball Super now because everyone loved his work. Everyone loved Dragon Ball. So we begged him to come back more and he brought it back. So it was cool. Thank you, Tarama, for making us all entertained, happy, inspiring us, everyone. Thank you, Kira Tom. May you rest in peace. But thank you all for watching my video. Uh, I wanted to make a good video, both for the Dragon Ball Super chapter. It was a good chapter. Go check it out. My book, I liked it. Show Beast Mode, Gohan, his power, um, Ultra Instinct, Goku. Show Brawly taking on Gohan. Everyone just throwing a big old, a big old same Royal Rumble would look like. It was dope. But go check that out. And like a good message to Kira Tama. Thank you, message. Thank you for all your work, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kira Tama. Thank you. And hope you all guys have a, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Hope, can we talk more manga with you guys? Hope you all have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.